If you're thinking about moving to Fairfax City, Virginia, but you wanna know more about what kind of homes you can find here and at what price points, all we're gonna do for this video is visit three different neighborhoods and look at three different price points so you know exactly what kind of homes you can find here and find something within your budget. All we're gonna do is jump into my car now, visit the first listing. But before we do that, I do wanna mention if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living here in Northern Virginia and the surrounding areas, then just subscribe, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Northern Virginia. My name is Tim and the team and I here at Living in Northern Virginia. We get calls and emails from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we do love it. So whether you're looking to move it today, a year or any time in between, make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. But with that, let's jump into my car and head over to the first listing. All right, guys, so coming up onto the first listing here, we're gonna take a look at one of the more affordable homes you can find inside Fairfax City. As you can see right behind me here, uh, this home was listed at around $564,000 here. Uh, at around 1,000 square feet, you're looking at about a price of $550 per square foot. It's, that's even pricey for uh, Fairfax City standards, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been sitting on the market for around 29 days, so even for Fairfax City, that is a bit long. I'm guessing they're gonna have to do a price check on this home. Uh, it does give you about three beds, two baths. It's a rancher, so it's gonna be a one-leveled home here. Uh, it's a, sitting on around an 8,000 square foot lot, so it's a pretty sizable yard in the front, as you can see. It's on a corner lot as well, so you're gonna be getting a much bigger uh, yard than most people on this neighborhood. Now, it was built back in 54, and as I mentioned in previous videos, much of Fairfax City did have its big boom during that time, so a lot of the homes are gonna have been built uh, during that time frame there. Uh, as you can see, a good indicator of uh, how established a neighborhood and a city is is by looking at the trees many of the trees here are well established like very mature very tall so uh you know many of these trees take around 50 to 150 years to to become very mature so without looking at any statistics or anything online you can get a pretty good idea of uh, how established an area is now i am going to put up some pictures on the screen right here to show you what kind of the inside of the home does look like everything is has been renovated so it looks really nice on the inside here but uh, for the most part, all you're going to find on this neighborhood is homes pretty much in that time frame of the 50s and 60s. However, it does give you a no HOA neighborhood, so you can always uh, put additions onto these homes, especially when you have a large lot such as this one. Uh, and, you know, you know, if at any point in time you wanted to tear down the home and build something brand new, you always have the option to do that, which is always great. But with that, we're gonna move on to the next listing here. Before we do that, we're gonna take a quick stroll through the neighborhood in my car so you get a better idea of what sort of homes you can find in this neighborhood. Uh, but with that, let's jump into my car and head over to the next price point. guys I hope you like that neighborhood and that house here now we're coming up onto the next listing uh, in very highly desirable neighborhood inside Fairfax City uh, the median home sale price in Fairfax City I should mention is around seven hundred thirty thousand dollars this this home is gonna be a little bit above that with eight hundred forty thousand dollars is what it's listed at right now but with thirty three hundred square feet at your disposal you're looking at around a two hundred fifty dollar per square foot and unlike the last home we checked out which was around $550 uh, dollars per square foot. This is going to be the average within Fairfax City, more or less. You're going to be looking at 250 to 300, depending on the home. But obviously, once you get to the extremes, uh, whether the home is really small or really big, those numbers do tend to vary. But this one's at 250 right now. This home was also built back in the 60s, 1963 to be exact. And as I mentioned in the last listing, you can tell by the trees around the area that it's very mature. It's a very established neighborhood here, and many of the homes that's going to be the case right a lot of these homes are going to be built during that time frame there is no hoa here but these homes are so well kept that you're not really seeing many homes being torn down or new construction coming up they're just being renovated or just being really well kept and that's the case for this home as well it's not fully renovated but it's got some areas that have been renovated it's really well kept i'll put some pictures up on the screen for you guys so you get a better idea of what the inside of this colonial is going to look like you do have a carport at your disposal many of these homes do have carports or garages 
but with having no HOA, if you prefer a garage, you can always tear down the carport, put a garage up there, put an addition on if you want. And you also have 10,500 square feet to, to play around with in this area. And with 3,300 square feet of home, you know, there's a ton of space in the backyard, in the front yard for the kiddos to play. And uh, I should also mention, you do have the pool just down the street here, the neighborhood pool that you can, you know, the kids can come and it's just in walking distance. So you can take advantage of that. And then just down the street right there, you've got the cul-de-sac. So you're not gonna be getting a lot of traffic coming in and out of the area. So you can also be playing on the street and not have to really be worrying about too many cars coming by. Uh, this is a super highly desirable neighborhood. You are on the most northern part of Fairfax City, so you're super close to the metro that's going to be connecting DC to Fairfax City, so you have that right at your disposal. And then just down the street, you're going to have all your fast food, all your shopping, so you have so many things at your fingertips, but it's also such a quiet neighborhood. As you can see, there's not much noise uh, to be heard, a lot of nature around you. So, you know, it feels a little bit secluded, but uh, it's definitely a nice and quiet and calm neighborhood that you don't have to worry about anything. Now, we're just gonna hop into my car. We're gonna take a look around the neighborhood so you can get a better idea of what to expect within here. Uh, but with that, let's head over to the next listing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you there. I hope you liked that last neighborhood here. Moving on to the third and final listing. I wanted to take us through a neighborhood that's a little bit newer construction. I know we looked at some older end of the spectrum homes uh, with those last two listings, but I wanted to prove to you that we do have new construction inside Fairfax City. Uh, here, this home is gonna be right behind me, right here. It's listed at $1.35 million. So it is a little bit pricier and that does come with the newer construction within Fairfax City. But with 4,200 square feet here, you're looking at around $321 per square foot. As I mentioned earlier, the average is gonna be around 250 to 300, so you are in that ballpark range here. This home was built back in 2009, and uh, you know, with my tree obsession, as you can tell, many of these trees are gonna be a little bit smaller. Now, these, this section here is probably gonna be the newest section of the neighborhood, because as you can tell, the trees tend to get smaller as you move down and bigger as you move uh, closer to the main road here. You can tell that the trees are much larger there as comparison to over here. Now you also have a cul-de-sac going down there. So as I mentioned in the other neighborhood, you're not gonna have a lot of traffic passing through here. So that's good uh, for the kids. This home is four beds, four baths. So it's gonna be a great location for a new family, you know, a, a bigger family here as well. Uh, it is 4,200 square feet, but you're sitting on a lot size of around 6,200 square feet as well. So, you know, your backyard's not gonna be as sizable as the other homes, but you do have enough space for social gatherings, whatever it may be, you can do a cookout and whatnot, but it's not as large as the other homes. Now, it does have an HOA of around $92 a month. So, uh, you know, it's not too bad in, in, in relation to some other areas within Northern Virginia and Fairfax City, but uh, you can't do as much you, you don't have as flex as much flexibility as some of the other areas without an hoa but you know you don't really want to you're probably not going to want to do much to this place because you've already got your two-car garage you've got everything set up for you. you're not going to probably put up any additions and uh, it's brand new construction too so you're probably not going to touch uh, much of anything here as well during your stay i do like that a lot of these homes aren't you know identical they did try to vary in style from home to home so no one home looked the exact same they are similar in, in certain aspects, but you know, they're definitely varying in style from, from home to home. But with that, we're gonna jump into my car, take a stroll around the neighborhood and see exactly what you can expect to find within it. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, share it with your friends if they're considering moving to Northern Virginia. If there were any homes that you saw or any areas in this place that uh, you'd consider taking a look at, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All the info is down below in the description. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. But with that, let's take a look at the neighborhood and uh, I'll see you 
you guys on the next one.